Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with the Lori Ballant team and Ballant Brands at your command. Today I wanted to uh, help clear up a little bit of confusion that's going on with agent site pages. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom left under consumer. And some of us are getting a little more comfortable now adding these agent site pages. So if I click on agent site pages up here at the top, then we'll see I have my list of pages that are currently there. And what, I, what we've shown in the past is I can click here on site and app settings, go over to site pages, and this is where I can manage my navigation that shows up on the website. So some confusion is going on here because I can click on add a page and the intent is for me to be able to select one of the pages I've already added. But in some cases, maybe I'm just realize, oh, I don't have that page here. I don't see it. So I want to go ahead and add one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create new site. Now the challenge that we run in here into here is that when I use that feature to create new site, it's actually building me a landing page, not a page that I can use in command. So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So if I drag over here the branded header, just as an example, and I have configure widgets, click on branded header, hit save and apply, oh, give it text. Okay, so save and apply. All right, so I have that there. Now I can click publish page. And it says, would you like to publish this? The landing page will be visible to others. So when I click yes, you'll notice what it does. It drops me back here on landing pages and it created the new landing page here, not as an agent site page. So you might think I can go to site and app settings, click on site pages, and now add that page but I can't because it was actually created as a landing page instead of a agent site page. So again, where I started this was I clicked on create new site, which on a previous page, if I go back to agent site pages and I click on create a new site, I get the option to do it at, on my agent site or as a standalone page. So for some reason, um, I don't think it was specifically designed this way because it doesn't really make sense how it's laid out could just be a glitch right now but if I go to site and app settings and click on site pages and try to create a site from there it's automatically choosing the standalone page option not an on my agent site option so if we do want to add more pages to our agent website then we're going to want to go ahead and start from the beginning as opposed to going in to the site and app settings so I click on create a new site I click on on my agent site, hit create page. Maybe I'll drag over the testimonial capture form here and create myself a testimonial page. Configure widgets, it's all set. And we'll call this one testimonial test. Save those changes. Yes, I'd like to make it public. So now it actually shows up here under testimonial test. So if I go to set site and app settings, site pages, and add a page here, now I will see it show up. So again, just a little uh, feedback here on not to get confused. This create new site, if I use that here when I'm configuring my agent site pages, we might think that it's going to create a page that's available on our website, but it's actually not. It's creating a landing page instead. So hopefully that helps some of you out there. If you have any questions, by all means, please reach out to, uh, you can email us at team at or you can always visit understandcommand.com.